opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. The closed Sicilian controls d5 with the knight and aims for slower development without an immediate d4 push. And c6 helps control both the d4 square and the e5 square. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center and controls the e5 and d4 squares. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This prepares the bishop for development. After all captures, this is an equal trade. Takes back. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. Bg5 immediately attacks the knight on f6 and prepares the possibility of queenside castling. e6 defends the d5 square and allows the dark squared bishop to develop to e7. Qd2 supports the bishop on g5 and prepares to castle queenside. b7 develops the bishop, unpins the knight on f6 and prepares castling. Queenside castling gets the king out of the center, activates the rook and seeks to start an attack on the king's side. A6 prevents the white knights and the f1 bishop from reaching b5 and prepares the b7-b5 advance. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. Recaptures. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. Takes back. It is the last book move. The game is still close to equal, but white lost their advantage. It is a mistake. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. A very strong play. It is excellent. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. This move makes it so the opponent cannot castle, inhibiting their development. It is best. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is a mistake. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is a miss. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is a miss. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. The game was close to equal but now white has the advantage. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. Black had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. It is a mistake. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to move a piece to safety. It is a mistake. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. It is a miss. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to attack a trapped bishop. It is best. This ignores a better way to add a defender to a vulnerable pawn. It is a mistake. This threatens to win a bishop. This stops the opponent from being able to take an open file with a rook. It is good. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This threatens to fork pieces. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is the only move that works. This threatens to win a queen. It is a great move. This protects the attacked pawn. This is the only good move. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a queen. It is a great move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game battle was fairly even.